What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex. This is As to Cheese Gaming. I'm back with a new 16-bit review for you this week. This time, I'll be taking a look at the original Super Mario Kart, only for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Now quick disclaimer, I have a ton of nostalgia for this game, but for the sake of the review, I'm going to try to be as objective as possible here. Super Mario Kart was developed and published by Nintendo with a North American release date of September 8th, 1992. This game is a kart-based racing game, and at the time of its release, Nintendo wanted a more easy-to-pick-up-and-play multiplayer racing game that was more focused on two-player versus than just the single classic arcade-style racing game that was currently out on the genre. There's a total of eight characters to start in the original. They are Mario, Luigi, Peach, Bowser, Donkey Kong, Koopa, and Toad. You can race them in the Mushroom, Flower, Star, or Special. Each of the cups have five courses. The top four racers get to earn points after each race. The highlight of Super Mario Kart is its easy pick up and play control scheme. Each of the characters has their own strengths and weaknesses, such as, say for instance, the heavies, like Bowser and Donkey Kong, have excellent top speed, but horrible poor, or poor acceleration. Meanwhile, Mario and Luigi are the most balanced of the group. All in all, I have absolutely no complaints about the controls in this game. Next, I'd like to touch about the music and sound effects. First off, let me just say that the sound effects in this game are absolutely wonderful. Whether it's the impact that you hear when a shell hits someone, or the sound you get when your car spins out and slips on a banana peel. Second, since, the, since this game is made by Nintendo, it's got a very nice and overall fitting theme for its soundtrack. I wouldn't say that's anywhere near the top upper echelon of games on the console, such as like, say, Donkey Kong Country or Star Fox, but it's still enjoyable for what it is. And each racing game needs to have a good soundtrack. So finally, let's answer the question. Is the original Super Mario Kart still worth picking up and playing today and adding to your collection? Absolutely. This game is such a nice time and just a return to simpler times. Before you might constantly get nuked by blue turtle shells or get thrown at squid ink. Sometimes it's nice, just fewer characters, fewer courses, just a simpler time where you can just pick it up, play for a bit, have some fun, and enjoy. And it's even more fun if you have a friend. Thanks for watching, and until next time.